is some of the new um, season seven, you know, summer wave minifigures. Here's a stone warrior. I kind of like him, by the way. He's pretty awesome. This all came from Lego Hobo Fat. You know, just sub to this channel because I used these pictures from him. Next up, we got Kozu. I really like him. I recommend y'all should get him. The next one is um another Stone Warrior. You can look at his torso if you like. Just pause the video if you want to. Just gonna go fast for a reason because I gotta go somewhere. Next up is a Criterium Stone Warrior. I just want him bigger. I don't want him small. I just want him like big. Next up we got General Cryptor, the updated one. No, once the um actual General Cryptor, I want like the updated one like this. I recommend y'all should get him. And he comes really different. And next we got a Nindroid. This Nindroid is awesome. I'm hoping that he comes in the shell because we didn't see this kind of Nindroid in the shell. Next up we got Zane. He's the, he's the rarest minifigure I find, um, like in my opinion, because he comes with the um like the gray shoulder tat um, shoulder pad. And here's another of him. I kind of like the way how we got his hair. He come from the Titanium Ninja Humbler too, so if y'all want that set, y'all can get it. Actually, I want it too. And there, and I'm also getting this type of Zane from the um Criterion Prison set that only costs thirty dollars. And here's a Stone War. And here, no, uh, Stone War. What the crap? What I'm trying to say is that here's a um. Whoops. Here's the um skeleton. Noticing how he's like you could look at his torso. He's pretty cool. I forgot his name though. And here's Crazy. I think that's his name. Like you can see like how his hat is now different. Used to be like a different color, and his eyes used to be a different color too. But it looks fine anyway. And here's Kai. One of my I'm I'm gonna get him too because of the shoulder pad. I'm gonna get all the ninja because of the shoulder pads and they all look cool along with Cole. And this one, this Cole got a different face. He got two different sides of faces. Like one looking like weird. I don't know the other face. I think the face is mad, but yeah. And here's the um damage Cole. This damage Cole looks awesome. When I meant awesome, he looks pretty awesome. Like there, I don't find nothing wrong with them. Next one is the purple ninja, and I must say, this purple ninja is pretty cool. I recommend, I'm, actually, I'm going to just get him because he does not come in any other sets, but in Cole's rock rotor. So, I'm going to just get him. But only the reason I'm getting him because he might be a part in the season, so that's like one of the reasons why I'm going to get him. And math, there's Master Chen, but he's like the only minifigure who's like different in the season. He's not actually like, oh my god, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry guys, but Master Chen is way different in the season. No, he's not even different. He's like the same exact minifigure. Like, is he like the only villain who never changed? Next up is. Ronin, he has a new torso now. I don't really like this kind. I like the better kind. I don't know why they changed it. Like you could just actually see how like how he looks. I like the better version of Ronin better. The other version. I don't like this type of version. And here's Jay. That's like the only one I can get from him. Yeah, as you can see, you can actually see how his new face, his new face is actually different. It comes like it's like a double sided face. You can see how like you can see his hair, the shoulder pad, his face, mask, and how the swords are now different. Let's move on. Oh yeah, and here's Jay with his mask. Like you can see the sword is now different. You can see like how he looks now better on. And here's Lloyd and there's Pythor because I'm just gonna view both of them. Lloyd, he looks that same thing. Oh no, he looks pretty awesome. I think I should just like get him because of how he looks along with the torso and 
everything. In Python, you can actually get it rebooted. Um, you know, like his rebooted self. I'm gonna get that because it shows like his white side. Also, here's Energy Lord. Oh no, here's like Energy Lord from the um Air Jitsu set. Because I kind of like how their Air Jitsu sets are like now. Because he comes in Air Jitsu Battlegrounds. I don't think there should be no changes for Lloyd. Lloyd looks pretty cool. And there's Nia. I think there should be a little change for Nia. Because like I said for her mask. Her mask is like. I think that should be like light blue. Like the same color as her arms. Oh, here's why the thing here. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. I liked how she looks. She is amazing now because, like, I got her. Like, because my custom, how I made Nia, is horrible, but I like this one better because it even shows, like, almost, like, everything. Like, seriously. And there's Izor, like how he looks like as an anaconda right now. And as you can see, he totally looks mad different. I'm totally gonna get him because of the head, anaconda head. Oh, yeah, I already reviewed Pythor. I'm gonna review him again. I this is like his rebooted um form, like the cloak. Who who we gotta figure out who he was. I kind of liked how he looked, and I liked the way how he revealed himself too. Next one is Sensei Yang. Oops, my bad. And Sensei Yang looks way cooler. Like, I like the black beard. Especially when it comes with an arrow blade. You know, like, it totally looks even cooler. I like, I like Sensei Yang. I'm gonna get him too. I'll make a theory about him later. Oh yeah, and here is, um, that new... You know, titanium. No, there's the new Zane from the tournament rope. This is how he looked like in the tournament. Yeah, but. And it comes with two new Sky Pirates and Samurai X, which is Nia. And so, yeah, guys. I kind of like all these minifigures. Please comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys pretty soon. Bye.